Hello everyone, Desert Gardener here, kind of behind the camera today because I'm recording in a very tight space. But this is going to be part three of my year-long series of planting tomatoes and peppers in the desert. Now, this is going to be the episode where I talk about removing the cover, removing seed coats, and using a fan. So, let's get started. So as I mentioned, I'm in a bit of a tight spot here in my spare bedroom. This is where I keep my grow lights. Now you're going to see there's two grow lights. Now you really only need one. The only reason there's two here is because I haven't planted my tomato seeds yet. I always plant my pepper seeds on January 1st and then my tomato seeds on February 1st. And it is now January 15th. And as you may be able to see, the little seedlings are just starting to hit the underside of this lid here. So it's time to take that lid off. Now I've already raised the lights a little bit to give myself a little bit of room. And let's take this off and see what we got. Okay, things are looking pretty good. I've got a pretty good germination rate. Now we're gonna look for seed coats that uh, haven't popped off yet. Like for example, there's one right here. You see this uh, seed coat and a little bit of soil at the top of this. We have to take that off or this could uh, hurt the plant. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the side. Now usually there's, there's two uh, baby leaves and one's on top and one's on bottom. So we wanna grab it by the side. This is going to be the uh, seam on the seed. And we're gonna give it a little bit of squeeze and then move our fingers back and forth like we're doing a little tiny violin. There we go, and it pops right off, and it, it's gonna need a little bit of time to open up. Now let's see if we have any others. I think there's a few more back here. Yeah, there's another one here. Another one back here. That one was pretty quick. And I think that's good. I'll look it over a little bit more later. So once that's done, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our fan ready. Now I have an oscillating fan right here. And I'm gonna turn this on for about one hour every day and let it oscillate back and forth and blow on the seedlings. That's a bit noisy, so I'm going to turn it off now. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lower our lights until they're just above our seedlings. And then I'm going to begin checking the water. As I mentioned in the last video, when the lid's on, you don't need to water because the water doesn't evaporate. But now that the lid's off, it's going to start evaporating and we're going to need to start checking the water. If it dries out, add more. Uh, some people recommend adding a bunch and then dumping out the extra. I, I've never found a need for that. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do and it's messy and it doesn't seem to be necessary. So what I do is I just simply lift up one of these trays, put about an inch of water in there, and then leave it. And that seems to be about it. I'm going to be planting my tomatoes in about two weeks, and we'll talk then. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.